this video, I'm going to show you how to create silky smooth camera animation. It takes seconds to set up, is extremely easy to use, and will take your animations to the next level. When most people animate their cameras, it's usually done through manual keyframes. Not only is this extremely time consuming, but it's also not using Blender to its full potential. What if I told you there was a way to streamline the process, get dynamic, smooth animation, we made this one up. and multiple iterations fast? It's fiction. Well, there is, and we can get there in just three easy steps. So in Blender, open your scene and make a collection called Camera Rig. Now let's add in a camera, an empty object, and a Bezier curve. To create the rig, we need to combine these three objects. So let's select the camera and then the empty and press Control P. Now the empty object has full control over the camera and we can move on to step two. For this to work, we need the empty object to interact with the curve that we just created. So with the empty selected, let's head down to the constraints tab and we'll add in two specific options. The first is the follow path and the second is the track to constraint. For the follow path, set the target to the Bezier curve and immediately you'll see we can move the offset slider and the camera rig starts following. Make sure this option is checked so that you don't accidentally animate your camera into oblivion. The last step here is to set the target for the track to constraint. For me, it's this energy drink here. So click this and select your target accordingly. We now have an amazing rig and we can start the process of step three. To get that silky smooth look, we first need to set up the camera track with the curve. This step is where your artistic vision comes into play. First, hop into edit mode and start extruding and manipulating the curve into a sort of makeshift theme park ride. I'll periodically jump out of edit mode to see how it looks from the camera's perspective by dragging the offset slider here. I found to get a nice result, it's important to ensure there are no hard edges on the curve. So if you see any, just scale them out to create a smooth transition. Oh hey, sorry, you need to actually set a keyframe for the offset factor, I totally forgot. So on frame one, set the offset factor to a value of zero Hover your mouse over that and press I to set the keyframe. And then on your last frame of the animation, set the offset factor to be a value of one. And again, press I to set a keyframe. I like to include a mixture of close-ups and wide angles. So here is an overview of what my curve looks like. The very last thing to push this animation to the next level is to add a few hold keyframes in the graph editor. So open a new workspace and press Shift plus F6 to jump to the graph editor. From here, I'm just going to scrub the timeline until I get to a point of the animation I want to emphasize. I'll box select the starting keyframe, duplicate it and drag it to where the playhead is. Now it's just a matter of tweaking the keyframe and repeating the process until you get the result you want. Once done with this process, you should now have an amazing silky smooth camera animation. This is a fantastic way to quickly iterate on your camera animations. But if you want to take your lighting to the next level, you'll want to watch this video here.